Hi guys, let me show you how to make an easy peasy tachometer that is inexpensive and reliable. I tried several methods with mixed results. Keep watching and I'll show you my failures and successes. I have a handheld tachometer but is not suitable for measuring RPM for more than a few seconds and it uses a 9 volt battery. A home built tachometer can measure RPM for long periods of time and it can be powered by a computer via the USB connector. A lithium 5 volt battery pack with a USB connector or powered by a 9 volt DC power adapter. I began with an Arduino R3 board, a reed switch that is commonly found in treadmills, and an OLED LCD display. I wired the reed switch to my R3 board one wire to the digital pin 2 connector and one wire to a ground connector. I taped a small magnet on a treadmill motor shaft and mounted the reed switch on the motor frame close to the motor shaft. I connected my OLED display to the Arduino using four wires. A red wire from OLED's DCC pin to the Arduino's 5 volt connector a brown wire from the OLED ground pin to the Arduino's ground connector, a yellow wire from the SCL pin to the Arduino A5, which is analog pin 5 connector, and an orange wire from SDA pin to the Arduino's A4 analog pin 4 connector. I also placed a small piece of reflective tape on the motor shaft and its flywheel. I uploaded my Arduino sketch to the R3 board and started the treadmill motor. I was pleasantly surprised to see an RPM reading on my display. Yeah! The RPM readings were fluctuating up and down. Boo! I measured the RPM shaft using an optical tachometer protecting my eyes just in case my handheld tachometer emitted a light that could fry my eyeballs. The RPM on my display and handheld tachometer was the same sometimes. At this point my tachometer was not reliable. I tried several ways to improve my Arduino sketch but I could not achieve a steady reliable RPM reading on my display. I connected an oscilloscope to the reed sensor's output. The pulses were very erratic. Perhaps programming a switch debounce in the Arduino sketch could help. Not one to give up easily, which is a polite way of saying I am stubborn. I replaced the reed switch with an optical sensor module. I connected the module's VCC pin with a red wire to the Arduino 5 volt connector. The module's ground pin with a green wire to the Arduino's ground connector and the module's out pin with a black wire to the Arduino's digital pin 2 connector. As the motor shaft began to spin I was again pleased to see an RPM reading yay and it was fluctuating boo. I measured the RPM with my handheld tachometer the display RPM was not accurate and fluctuating I edited the sketch adding a 10K pull-up resistor to D2, then a pull-down resistor, changed the math formula in my sketch with an unsatisfactory results. Boo! At this point I began to suspect the R3 board and my Arduino sketch. I did more research and found an elaborate sketch that used a sensor that I had not considered using before, a Hall effect sensor. Because I needed to combine a tachometer sketch in my next project, I continued using my easy peasy sketch with a Hall sensor. A Hall sensor responds to a changing magnetic field similar to a reed switch, but has no moving parts. Plus, a Hall sensor is an integrated circuit that produces a clean digital output. Salvaging a damaged USB charging cable, I stripped a bit of sheath off both ends and soldered a wire to each sensor lead. Red to its VCC lead, black to its ground lead, and white to its out lead. 
Then I covered each joint with a small diameter heat shrink tubing, then covered all three leads with a large diameter heat shrink. For a more permanent installation, I suggest shortening the sensor leads and filling the large diameter heat shrink with epoxy. I mounted the hull sensor to the motor frame with a plastic cable strap. Then I connected the hull sensor to the Arduino with the red wire to the Arduino 5 volt connector, a black wire to the Arduino ground connector, and a white wire to the Arduino's digital pin 2 connector. I powered up my Arduino, then adjusted the speed of the treadmill motor. This time as the motor shaft began to spin, the LCD display RPM was rock steady. I checked the RPM with the handheld tachometer and found that the readings were very close. Increasing the speed, I saw similar results. Yay! I noticed that there was a bit of lag between the display RPM and the tachometer RPM. This is due to a two second time delay in the Arduino sketch. Having a bit of lag helps to improve accuracy in the sketch. I can live with that. I think the results are acceptable. Yeah! If you wish to build your own tachometer, you will need four basic things. An Arduino board such as a UNO, R3, or Nano board. A LCD display such as a 16x2, a 20x4, or an OLED display. A 3144 hall sensor, or a 3144 Arduino hall sensor module and a small magnet. I will leave a copy of my sketch at arduino.cc and I will post the link in my description. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Give a like and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.